Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to the Element series. I finally got some time to sit down and think about the water element. I've written my notes. I know exactly what I have to say in this episode. I came up with a really nice concept actually yesterday so I can now see as well why the filming of this got delayed so much because I had to come up with that analogy yesterday before I could record it. So everything has its right timing, doesn't it? And um, the delay was necessary. So I'm recording this on the 6th of January. It's about 6.30 p.m. here in Australia. I know in America it's a big day, um, but I looked up the time and I think for you guys it's something like 2 a.m. or something like that. So the news of the day is yet to happen. So uh, the reason I'm making mention of that is because if things happen and I haven't said anything, uh, it's not because I'm not acknowledging it or no, it's, it's just because, um, because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> okay, so that's the only reason. The other thing I did want to say about that is that um, in future episodes and definitely in future monthlies, I think I'm not going to uh, be talking about the political scene anymore. I do think that um, it's come to a time where there is quite a bit of feedback coming that people aren't enjoying that kind of content and so um, I won't do it anymore. Um, if there is something important that I have to say or, or something in that way that I have to share, then I would do so on Parler, parler.com. I have an account there. I tried to upload my January report there, but I wasn't able to because the file size is actually restricted. So I would need to make a separate video. That's okay. Um, I don't mind that at all. So what I yeah, really want is just to, um, you know, hopefully keep doing this. I am getting more thumbs up um, and, and more positive feedback, which means I should keep doing what I'm doing. So I, I will keep doing it. One of the other reasons that I was enjoying talking about politics, that I was enjoying it a little bit, was because, um, you know, because I, I guess I've read uh, some interesting books over the many, many years of my study at Jupiter Mahadasha, I read a ton of books. And um, a couple of the books I really enjoyed was um, The Creature from Jekyll Island, which was all about the creation of the Federal Reserve. I also read books by Michael Lewis, um, several books by him actually. One of them was called Flash Boys, which is all about the build of the stock exchange in America, which is so fascinating. And, and I like all of that stuff. So, you know, and the other thing that I quite like is um, since about 2008, 2010, I've been watching astrologers on YouTube, I'm trying to think, was it 2008, 2010? I remember the days of watching Kelly Rosano and at the end of her reports, she would sing and it was so much fun. I used to really love that. But one of the things as a viewer that I've really enjoyed um, when watching, say for example, astrology videos, I've always enjoyed people who match up the stars with what's happening on the ground level. I've always found that really, really interesting. So I suppose that's why I've been doing things the way that I've been doing. But equally, um, you know, now I'm creating this kind of content and I value the feedback enormously. So uh, I am getting feedback that's kind of showing that, you know, I think people aren't so keen um, on, it, on uh, anything political. So I will very much stick to the stars. So I just wanted to make that uh, known. But why don't we get into the water element today? The other thing I wanted to say before I begin on the water element, we're at the four minute mark, I'm burning time, I know. Um, I'll put a skip ahead link, so don't worry, you can, you can skip ahead. Um, the water element, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to say, is that um, I do have a whiteboard and I have a whiteboard marker here and it kind of appears like I'm teaching something, but that's another thing I wanted to clarify. Uh, I'm not um, teaching as such in a formal way or any of that, none of that, this is just me sharing ideas. I'm brainstorming out loud, right? And one of the fun things that I love about YouTube is that this is a place where I can document my ideas and my thoughts, and this is the place where I can come back uh, in a year or two and, and see how I've changed or how my thoughts have changed, um, and I can see what I knew at a previous time and, and how I've evolved and things like that. So I quite like using these technologies like YouTube and Instagram and things like that. I quite like using them to kind of document um, in, a, in a blogging, vlogging kind of way, just my journey or what I'm thinking at the time or what I'm learning or uh, what I'm enjoying. So really that's, that's all that this is. I'm just, I'm just sharing ideas and I'll try as well um, in as many videos as I can to just kind of say, you know, this is what I think, but how about, how about you? Do, you? do you 
you know, you might have a different idea and please express that um, in the comments below. So why don't we take a look? Now I have drawn up the chart in advance, so we will talk about what's going on here. But I wanted to start by talking about water. Okay, water element. Now where have we been in this journey of ours? We have looked at fire and I'm going to use the tarot cards as a little prop here. So fire, have a look at that rod of fire right there. Isn't that impressive? Now look at that. I bet he's eager to light a match and set fire to that. <laughs> I don't know, but fire is a great element. It's always um, represented in tarot by rods, right? Rods of um, wood, right? Just like, oh, and I haven't got any matches, do I? I've run out. I've got this one which I would light but it's too thin and look at that it's breaking so I'm not going to light that but look that's a rod of fire right there so we have covered that now we'll put links below so you can catch up on the old elements if you miss them now we've got earth okay we've got the pentacles earth we've got money and all that kind of thing all that Capricorn wonderful stuff there um, and of course Virgo and Taurus now what else do we have we have got swords right air we finally come to the most beautiful of them all, water. The one that I wasn't as in touch with, actually, to be perfectly honest. I'm not uh, the biggest water person, but you know what? On studying this element, um, I think it's my favorite. I can't pick a favorite because I, I love all of them, but uh, I, I, I really enjoyed spending as long as I've spent contemplating this one. So water, what does it represent in tarot? Well, we have this beautiful cup here with water flowing there's all this water at the bottom there are these lilies it's absolutely stunning and water in tarot represents love okay the most beautiful wonderful thing ever right love is just the best energy out there it's it's the absolute best so how and where do we see love in a Vedic astrology chart. Can we look at this element in that way? And I think absolutely we can. Now we've got our water houses here. So we've got water here in the fourth house of home, which is mother's love, right? That's the kind of love that we have here. We've got partner's love, okay? And you could say family love too. Um, this is also your partner's family, but I'm gonna say that this is partner's love, right? In, in this house here. 12th house, I'm going to say this is God's love, right? That universal um, kind of universal love. I, I tend to think love, light, universe, God. To me, these words are very interchangeable, right? You can kind of interchange a lot of those words and that's what's happening up here in the 12th. Now in the 12th house, we've got all that roomy, like beautiful poetry going on. So I've written down here, you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. How beautiful. And, and you know, we can really see that kind of concept in the 12th house up here. Now, if you've been following this element series, you'll notice that in the fire episode, I talked about how fire is very much a thing of the now, okay? Now, why did I say that, that fire is a now energy? I said that because there's no Saturn, right? We've got Mars, Sun, and Jupiter, okay? So there's no Saturn, which means there's no time dimension to fire. Now, if we look at the other elements, we've got Earth, okay? So we've got Earth here. Look at that, we've got Saturn right? Saturn makes his presence here. Now Saturn is the creator of time, okay? And in Earth, we do have a time dimension. So your physical body, when it dies, it will decay, right? Um, when the fire, that living flame that is your soul, that animates your earthly physical body, that earthly physical body will, will decay, right? Time, Saturn will you know ensure that things decay right it's just a part of a part of this realm if we take a look at the air houses right we've got time okay we've got aquarius up here we've got the 11th house and we have got a time dimension time air the akashic records you know time is an abstract thing right um it's a container as well. So as we can see in the air element 
and in the earth element we've got the time dimension. Now I've written the word timelessness up here and one of the things I've been contemplating over the last few days is what is the timelessness of water? How, how does that work? And I was trying to get my head around it and what I'm going to say is these, these are just my ideas, this is something I've come to but I mean of course you guys will come up with other things okay so um, what did I come to? So now I started thinking about when we, like what is the timelessness of water? Why is there no time dimension? And I was reading somewhere on the internet, I can't remember where because I read so many things, um, but someone had said something about that water is the past and fire is the future. I thought that was quite good. I thought that was quite a good um, way of looking at things. I thought that was quite nice, but I still think with fire, I still think that that's a now thing. That's a now thing and it's life. It's that living flame. It's that soul that animates your body right and that when that flame goes and when that soul that spark of light that you are when that goes and it drops the body right you you keep living you're alive you're that bit of fire you're always you're eternal right i started thinking about okay what's eternal with water or what's timeless about water what is what is water and i started thinking about when is it that you remember something what is that concept of memory now, when I started thinking about memory, I thought, oh, this, this is it. This is, I've, yeah, okay, I think I know. Timelessness. I'm going to write the word memory here in capitals. When do you remember something? Remembering, remembering. You remember, you put it back together. That happens in the now. That's what I've come to now. I'm still thinking about this, so I might change my ideas on this or it might grow or it might expand, but at the moment this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the fact that in the now moment, that's when memories come up. One of the books I'm reading at the moment is by Kathy O'Brien and it's all about um, post-traumatic stress disorder. And she talks about how when you've got trapped trauma, right, let's say the eighth house here, and things get trapped really deep in that still water, that's, that's difficult to to bring that to the surface or she talks about you want that memory to merge with everything else and the way she was describing it it was almost like um, you want to take the air the container of air that's around the memory take that out and then the memory merges with the ocean of who you are it reintegrates right so there's a lot of um, healing work that that uh, we can we can do here in, in this eighth house so studying things like trapped trauma or, or old memories that we reintegrate, right? That's, that's something that kind of works here. But when do you remember something? You remember it in the now. And this all got me thinking, just check the time. Wow, 13 minutes, oh gosh. Um, but I'm gonna go through this because this is important. Homeopathy. I started thinking about homeopathic medicines and how they work. Now, if you've ever taken a homeopathic medicine, you'll know that they come in different um, doses, right? So let's say you take a medicine that is 30C, the dose is 30C. So you've got the medicine here. You take one drop of the medicine and you put it in 100 drops of water. That's 1C. So then you take one drop of this water and you put it in a new 100 drops. And you do that 30 times, right? 30 times, just imagine by the time you get to 30C, there is barely any of that actual original medicine left. What is left, right? It's, it's the memory. So homeopathy is actually, it's a consciousness medicine. And I realized that last year when I was sick for several months and stuck in bed and homeopathy was really one of the main things um, that got me to heal. Homeopathy, um, breathing work, diet, what else did I do? I did a lot. Um, and I needed no surgery and no medication. Um, the strongest medication I took last year was paracetamol. Right? Homeopathy works wonders. Um, it's incredible and it is energy medicine. And I do think it works at the level of consciousness and it works to heal memory. Uh, memory that isn't working and I'm, I'm still yet to, to really 
get my head around it fully but um, but look at that we've got memory there we've got living the living quality of water it's like um, is it Dr. Masuru Emoto let me get his name right Masuru Emoto Masaru Emoto that's the guy he figured out things like you know if you play music to water the water will embody the vibe of that music right um, if you put the word love on your water bottle the the water will start to take on the energy of love isn't that incredible so you know this this stuff is completely amazing and i do think that there's a very living and alive quality to water that is in the now and it's all to do with memory so with fire with the fire element we've got that spark that is you that unique soul we've got the sun right we've got that unique spark and spirit and soul that is you okay um, now with this what do we have here this is memory and this is look at that we've got mother okay your first home is in the womb and you are living in water right and now think about this this is what I came to which I really liked because I was thinking about that analogy of we've got the medicine and we take a drop of that and we put it in a hundred drops here new drops then we take a drop of this we put it in a hundred new drops then we take a drop of this we put it in a hundred new drops like this you know what's that remind you of that's that's our ancestry this is why you this is why you know you look like your mum and that's why your mum looks like her dad and that's why you know but through the line like when you go back why is it that you know um, this ancestral concept like you know this quality of inheriting uh, certain properties or features we're like you know homeopathy ourselves aren't we we're kind of like we embody like I'm sure I embody um, I, well I know that you know so <clears throat> yeah my hands and, and feet are just like my dad's and then I, don't, I didn't see a picture uh, of his mum but I would say that probably you know there are similarities to his mum and then she'll have two parents and that'll be there'll be a similarity there and I'm sure it goes quite far when you do things like ancestral healing and if you've worked with any ancestral healers and things like that they'll be able to work out for example that wow this particular thing that you have it has been in your family for six generations or whatever it is right so yeah this is this uh, incredible thing you know why are you you well that's the fire element that's the sun why are you like grandma well that's the moon isn't it you know there, there's an inheritance um, we're, we're very much like our ancestors but you see that, that, that they're alive in the now there's some part of your ancestors that are alive right now in your now you know, it's maybe some ancestor that's maybe talking through me I have no idea I don't know too much but, um, but guys I think oh look this has gone long it's quite a long video I think I'm going to wrap this up and leave that there I hope this has been a nice video I hope this has been a nice thing to contemplate the uh, you know element of water it's really good if we can carve away some time get away from the world and just you know um, contemplate these lovely things because this is a nice activity to do and this is um, putting peace out into the world and if you can spend some time contemplating the elements then that's that's a really lovely thing to do so I hope this has been enjoyable for you um, thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.